Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Auto Forge. In our first episode, we started getting, well, the forges autoed. <laughs> and I think we figured out that splitters need a tube in between, and I think the reason this is working, which is something Dave just asked, is because we don't even need the splitters. I'm going to contemplate. Oh, you can't middle click either. Uh, I'm gonna guess that this will work even without the splitters. And the answer seems to be yes, it does. So, yeah, buildings hoover up items within those yellow squares around them, which you can change the collection range. I am a little confused on the difference between that one and that one. Um, the arrows, maybe one of them does not auto output. Does that one not output? No, it does output. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure the difference between those last two. Uh, maybe it's from other buildings, potentially. Yeah, I'm not really sure how all this works. Oh, yeah, because what we need is wood. What we could do is we could put wood in a tube, and then would it automatically hoover up uh, the fuel that it needs if we did that let's try that <sighs> yeah and so what I'm gonna guess is that we can't can we suck items out of a chest no which kind of makes sense um there's probably a building or something to do it. Bypass. Same as oxygen not included. You can kind of have two tubes <laughs> go past each other. Hey, Stitches, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, let's look at the tech tree. Well, okay, we've got this in our way, which gives us mechanical essence, distiller, and foldery. That's next. Then we get quartz, refining of things, magical distillation, conduit tapping, porter, gadget, metal plating, repair tools, mana bullets, and mana turrets. Interesting. So it kind of... It kind of feels like we have all the basics already. They kind of throw all the basics at you early, and then you have to do a lot with just those basic tools. They don't give us any new tools anytime soon, other than the mana turret, I guess. And then these are just uh, efficiency and speed things down here. So then I guess there's no way to get things out of a chest right now? It does feel a little odd. Um, but I can't think of another way to try this. Did the torch just burn out? What? Or is it daytime or something? Huh. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> What's the X in the chest interface? Uh, I guess it's the same as Factorio. You can, you can close slots, which is good. I remember, um... Actually, does Satisfactory still not have that feature? Because <laughs> I feel like that's a w really weird thing that Satisfactory uh, was missing. Why is there a log right there? Weird. Uh, okay, so with a bunch of planks and void matter, we can unlock a new region. I don't need to do that yet. I haven't even figured out how to play in this region. So it seems like it's showing the item that's on the front, but this one isn't. Odd. Odd. Let's see uh, what controls we've got going on here. Roll, interact. Oh, I can roll with shift. That's new. Pipette is Q. Okay, change mode is B. Build radius is B. F is collect. 
Okay, there's a lot of hotkeys that they did not teach us about. Uh, V? Oh, build mode. Right, that's just combat mode. Um, what was it? B was build radius? What's that? What's that all about? What does that do? Not sure. It's also weird, you can't scroll. There's a scroll bar, and I'm scrolling, and it doesn't scroll. So that's. I don't know. Weird. Change mode V. Yeah, I don't think there's much else that we can try. None of these seem to... The pipette works. I'm still not sure why sometimes these display icons and sometimes they don't. That does feel a bit random. Okay, well, anyway, we have a billion iron ingots. We should have a lot of gears. Look at that. And I can now research or start working on this essence filling. I need 20 cranks. So let's handcraft those 20 cranks. We need four. Get that research done. Satisfactory does have infinite resources, but I do think it's still really annoying that you have to fill up an entire container, even if you don't want to. If you manually place an item in the chest, an icon will appear, but if it automatically goes in the chest, no icon appears. That feels really arbitrary, and I don't think I'm a fan of it, to be perfectly honest. But that's fine, I guess. Okay, what I'm going to do is we're going to open up a, another lane here. We're going to bring down um, wood, I think, for fueling. Fueling all this stuff. I don't know, maybe that's not necessary. I can just grab it once in a while. Oh, but then it's not in a, not in a tube. Right. So it seems like the only way we can get it in a tube is by putting it directly into a tube from the start. How far was that porter thing? Yeah, maybe we can just wait for it. Okay. Let's try the distiller thing first. Distiller. Crank mana fiber power relay. Foldery, ingesting essence and empowering automated research. A device for creating essence, but we need silver ingots. Silver ingots require silver ore, which we need to find. And then mechanical essence is cranks and gears, which is a total of three iron and one wood in terms of raw resources. And mana fiber is silver and mana. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Dave. I do like the magic, magic vibes we're getting. Probably have too much wood in my inventory. Let's get rid of some of that. And then crank this up, and then we'll go look for silver. Okay, there's some sparkly over here. Let's go see what this is. sandstone. Okay, that's not quite what we wanted, but I'm sure we'll need it eventually. Whoop, bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, what is that? Is that like... It's like a cave or something? Interesting. More sparkly to the left. 
That's got to be it, right? fuel for our iron liners. It is kind of tedious to mine like this because there's no easy way to hold the mouse. Um, you can't just like hold drill and go left like you can in some of these games to kind of mine a tunnel straight across. So that would be kind of nice if there was some sort of dig left feature. That sure looks like silver to me. Sweet. Okay. So let's start by uncovering it a bit more. And then... Uh, let's see. Do I have one of those doodads? I don't. Can I craft one of those doodads? I can. <laughs> okay, let's get some silver going. Shift two is my my straight things that you go for a long time with menu. All right, I'm not quite ready to connect all that, so we'll put a chest on the end of it for now. Sweet. Uh, is a transport tube the exact same cost? It might be. Uh, I'm pretty sure is isn't it a belt is an iron and a gear for two belts in Factorio so this is actually cheaper slightly I think but I could be wrong there is a chance I am wrong okay there's a lot more mana crystals you need more fuel in fact I need more wood in general Keep grabbing from this one. It'll run out eventually. It's only got 208 left. But there's a lot. I'm excited for some more inventory space. Let's get rid of some of these weirder things that I don't really need to be holding. I think more inventory space was one of the upgrades we could get with the, I don't know, the artifact thing. I don't need more stone. In fact, I have too much stone. Okay, so let's build more forges for the silver. Another floor here. Get some more scaffolding. This kind of makes me want to play Oxygen Not Included. I was just talking with JD Plays a little bit about it too yesterday on the podcast. So that's still all going. I don't need to do anything with that. 
Uh, yes, tubes can cross over with the little bypass thing. What are we doing? Inventory. Okay, so... Silver, silver, there we go. Start getting some silver. And let's see, how much do we need for one of these? Six for a distiller. And three mana fibers, which is only three. No, it's less than three. That's only half a silver each. I can make the foldery. That should be enough to make the distillery. This thing can tell me, uh, yeah, I can do an inventory upgrade once I find the next artifact thing. Oh, that's a long crafting time. Probably should get some more assemblers at some point, and actually... Uh, we could auto-feed the forges with wood, but only if we put wood in a tube, which requires a bit more work. Which we will do at some point, but we haven't done yet. That needs more wood. Speaking of wood, I probably need another wood drill. Some more iron. Uh, why hath you stopped? We run out of wood? Yes, you can cross the tubes with the bypass. Yeah. Yeah, we need a lot more fuel. Okay. Not surprised. the bypass. Now, if there was a way... So, in Factory Town, and, and maybe this is possible later in the game, but in Factory Town, there's a little node that you can put that will... Oh, look, it's they're feeding themselves with wood. Um, but there's a little node that you can put that will force a ratio of inputs which is really nice. And so I could say I want one wood for every one iron, for example. And then you can have one belt carrying multiple items and you don't have to worry about it ever getting clogged up because you can carry it in the ratio that it's consumed. So that's actually a really nice feature in Factory Town that I have not seen in any other games with belts. Hmm... Still kind of weirds me out that I have to open my inventory. Okay, bypass. Oh, it's like an underground belt. Okay, I can do that. And then I can go down and around. Cool, 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 cool. Oop, just one. Okay, so then I should be able to uh, bypass here. Make bypass on five. And then these will all hopefully just vacuum up the wood that they need. Maybe, maybe not. Let's hope that works. Um, 
No! I didn't want that. Can you grab items out of a... You can. F does work for that. That's nice. Grab items out of a tube. No, oh, I don't want to craft another distiller. <laughs> uh, how many times am I going to do that? What do you guys think? Over, under? Alright, these are chonky boys. Three by three. There's only one recipe, which is cranks and gears. To make mechanical essence. So that's like red research packs. And then the foldery does the research. I guess it's kind of like you you can do handcrafting research for a while, but then you can't uh, do the further research with that, I'm guessing. Why does that say 6.4? How did that get so much higher? Wasn't that only like 1.6? Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Okay, we need the other thingy. Where did I put the thingy? Thingy is in the chest. Power relay. Boom. I like the distance on those. It feels pretty forgiving. Okay, so I need gears and about a ton of cranks, which we'll have to automate. For now, I'm gonna manually grab some. Are you empty yet? No, you have 72 more wood. Are you empty yet? Also, no. This should automatically feed. Even if I don't have it, what does that do? What if it goes down? Will it automatically grab it? It will not. What if I change it to do that? Will it automatically grab it? It still does not. Hmm. So I still don't know the difference between that right there and that. They do something different, but I don't know what they do different. Um, I do like the configurable collection range. Wait, did it grab one? No, none of, none of these are grabbing. Oh, it had one from when it was facing properly. Okay, so now I should be able to research these things, but I need a lot. I need to automate this. So we gotta automate mechanical essence. I need gears and cranks, which means we need to process wood into planks. So I need two more assemblers to automate this. So we're gonna have some serious pipe spaghetti going. I do think the way these um, pipes work is for sure gonna add a lot more, um, I don't know the right word, maybe not complexity, but it's gonna feel harder than like Factorio with belts, for sure, that's what I'm trying to say. And I also would like to steal Oh, my inventory's full. What am I doing? Steal that, steal that. Steal all the wood. And they should feed themselves. I think. Yeah. But I don't have to worry about that. That is nice. I can fill up my mana crystal miner and fill up the stone miner. Not that I need stone. Contaminated the tube with essence. Oh, wonderful. I did. Okay, so now we need, let's see, I need an assembler making planks, but first I need scaffolding. I'm not 
should automatically grab uh, stuff from the pipe. And then we're making gears here. What if I put them up in a chest right there? Of course, that torch is in the way. Uh, and then we can just have an assembler right it's not in my uh, hotbar right here I have no idea what it will grab automatically or not I'm still figuring that out craft a power relay and I'm out of mana where did I didn't I have 400 mana where did I put that I must have put that somewhere but it shouldn't be Well, I mean, one big thing, Dave, is the the dimension of gravity makes um, the area that you're building in harder to build in. So, like, you sort of have half a dimension less because of gravity. Uh, so there's that. Like, the areas are, you know, it takes a lot more work to mine out areas. Uh, and, I mean, factorial belts have two lanes, which that's the biggest thing, which is obvious. Uh, where did all my mana crystals go? Where did I put them? Um, I'm not in there. I had a solid 400. And I don't anymore. And I don't see them in any of the chests. So did I delete them somehow? I'm not totally sure. What happened? Uh, anyway, let's feed these with just silver ore. Oh. That's weird. You can put 100 in, but then it pops 50 out. I don't get that. Why doesn't it just only accept 50 in the first place? Hmm. Okay, uh, I need to craft power relay now. I'm still not sure what happened to my 400 mana. It either got deleted or I lost it somewhere. I'm pretty sure I didn't spend 400 mana on anything. Maybe I missed a chest. Is it sitting in this chest? No. Not sure. Power relay. Get it up here. Recipe for you is cranks. So it can't grab from the chest either. So I guess we need to put a pipe there. Like that. Oh, I'm dumb. It just wants ingots. Okay, so I should be able to do it this way then. And I can store gears in a chest right here. That'll be the planks. That'll be ingots. Let's also limit that guy. And we'll just keep feeding this until it's smelted all of the iron from our starter patch. And let me go grab the wood, which is hopefully done. Yes, indeed. Of, I need all this in my inventory. I don't love the size of the inventory. Like, come on, give us a few more slots. It doesn't need to be this painful early game, in my opinion. Okay, this one seems to be grabbing all of them, which sort of makes sense. 
Problem is we need more wood, so let's go grab that. Oh, I don't have a chest for wood. That's the problem. Um, let me... How do I do this? Maybe a splitter here? Yeah. No, that doesn't work. No, that doesn't work at all. Oh, my God. Uh... Okay, so this can work. But the problem is you have to remove that tube before you can interact with this to turn off. Oh, can you not turn this off? Is that off? No, that's priority output. I'd like to be able to turn that direction off entirely. But it seems you can't. That's annoying. Again, maybe that's something you unlock later. Um... Yeah, this is a little, a little janky, because to do this the way we want to do it, we have to do that, and then that, and then there's the splitter, and then this can go down so that it doesn't actually break everything, and then I can put a chest over here. That's what we wanted. We'll let that fill up to half, I guess. And now we have to clean up this belt. Or two. I shouldn't call it a belt. inventory cool we should have a lot more silver now oh it only smells five at a time that's right you could run multiple things in one tube but only if you could control the ratios otherwise you're going to end up one of them is going to get backed up, and it won't have the other one, and everything will break, and it would be horrible. And we still need more wood for the iron miners, which was the point of this. Ah! Get some scaffolding there. Okay... Is that enough iron for smelting? Those are 15 a minute each, and I want to say the forges were only 10 a minute. Is that right? I can't remember now. Still fine on stone. I haven't really needed it for anything yet. How are we looking here? This is still stealing all of it, so I wonder what happens if we make them the same range. It still always goes to one of them. Okay, so that just needs to back up sooner. Or I need another splitter. I guess I have another splitter. Uh, and by another splitter, I mean another output from the splitter, and I could do that, like so. And then we get half and half. And then that's automatically grabbing wood. Okay, I mean, you could call this automation. We've automated science. And now we need to bring the cranks and the gears both over. This is where I really wish I could use a single tube. Um, what do we get? So we'll run that tube. Oh man, can't do that. So there, and then go over. It's also annoying you can't easily do a tube to, uh, oh, I need more tubes. Um, like a tube to a chest to a tube to have a buffer. You kind of have to have a splitter system.
Yeah, that takes a little while to handcraft these two. But I'm definitely not in a place where I want to set up a mall. So we're not doing that. Place the power relay again, right there. And then we'll need two of those bypasses. Yeah, I agree, Zeglim. This is definitely a promising game so far. So I guess here and there. We can do this. No! That was close. No, I should be able to grab both. And there we have... As long as things are fueled, fully automated science. Is that potentially... Did I do that right? I think I did. And then what we'll do is we'll split off half the gears like these. Oh my gosh, I did it again. That is probably some, I mean, again, it's like I'm not the game designer, but I'm pretty sure that should be changed where you can't just override that easily. Um, that's really annoying. Because what I would, I want this to just pick up tubes when I click on that not completely override things. Anyway, uh, I forgot what I was doing. Grabbing a chest. Okay, now what? Are we out of power? No, we just don't have enough iron. We need more forges. These are too slow. 10 a minute. I think we're doing 45 a minute, so I, I should just do another forge in that. I don't think I can do five forges. I could do four and a half. I can pretty easily throw that one there. And then continue the pipe. There we go. Now let's research something cool. How about, well, probably should do that one first. And there goes the foldery, folding the magical mechanical essence. You know, magical essence is something else. Folding the mechanical essence into some new knowledge for me. It doesn't tell me the rate, which is interesting. It gives me that is the output 10 a minute, but it doesn't give me this can process so many per minute. Okay, these stopped. Oh yeah, that's, that's just the silver, which we haven't belted down here yet. Okay, cool. Looks like I need more... Which one do I need more of? Looks like the distiller is stopping. So I need more folderies. Let's make another foldery. And then we're gonna have to put it in a pipe. Let's do this. to it and then the other one underneath it right there and then if we need a third one we can dig out a hole for it and place it right there why not research fortification tech um why, why do i need fortification <laughs> i mean it'll be cool but i do i need turrets to defend against some oh because it's the quest i get it <laughs> i guess we'll we'll research that eventually 
We'll do that next, I guess. Why would that be the first thing you research, though? It's, it's, I don't know. The, the tutorial's kind of weird, because it doesn't give you any, like, reasons to do these things. It just tells you, do this. It's like, okay, I guess. I could. How will that help me? Ah, there's the power. Set idle 300s per minute. Active 1.5 ms per minute. But ms would be mega s, which would be a million. That can't be right. It's probably 1.5 thousand. And they should use k instead of m. Hmm. Interesting. It's also interesting that it shows me the power here, but not here. That feels really weird. All right, let's go fuel up, um, whatchamacallit, our iron miners, because I didn't finish that fully last time. No, I don't. That. Okay, now they've got a hundred each. That should last a while. Grab some more mana. I'm still confused on what happened to my four hundred mana. Never, never will know. I'm sure someone in the YouTube comments will tell me. Okay, two folderies. Might as well get another one going here. I still have 500 iron right here. Easy. Uh, we finished... Oop. Yeah, the zoom goes really fast. We finished that one off. Was there another resource up here? I don't remember. Or was that it? I think that was it. There is something way over... Th no, there's no sparkles. Probably it for this sector. Anywho. Okay, so I've got my foldery. Number three. There we have it. Can we power everything? Uh, no, we cannot. Time for another generator. And I presume there is a generator soon in the tech tree. Of some other support. Some other sort. Power chamber? That's probably it. Okay, I think we now are outpacing the distiller's rate. Yeah. And I can hand feed the last four here. Plop down another cranky, cranky boy. Sweet! Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'll be done any second. Can I unlock one of the sectors yet? I have five void matter. I have some. Yeah, I have eight. Feed this into Apotheus to see more of the world map. Okay. I can do 160 iron, 120 metal, 240 planks, or 80 repair tools. 
Let's go west. I have a bunch of iron. If I have the inventory space to hold it. Now I can go into that region, I think, is what that means. Is this true? Okay, that tech is done. Now we'll do fortification. Should only take a couple minutes now that I have a good amount of production. Okay, so the border is right here, and yeah, now we can go over here. you. Saul Bloom. I like that you can plant stuff and grow stuff. That is cool. Some sparklies down there. No enemies, it seems. Oh, nope. There's enemies. I don't have inventory for this. Why did I not dump some of this? Z. Oh, they drop one at a time? Surely you can drop a whole stack, right? Mm, I don't think you can. That's a bit, a bit strange. Okay, well, yeah, I don't really need to do more exploration right now, I guess. It would be nice to find another ancient technology so we could get more inventory space. I guess that's the reason to, to explore. Whoa. What you doing there, buddy? Just having a little, little rave? I'll put you out of your misery. Okay. <laughs> Alright, are we there yet? No. Now we're backed up again. Interesting. I wonder if the research speed is different. Depending on what it requires. Like, maybe it's kind of similar to Factorio, where different techs have different research speeds, like, per pack. Not sure. Make those. in the tech tree. Advanced fluid, intermediate automation, orders, technology. You do get a tier two of transport tubes. Shears for trowels, fertilizer, saw blade, plant support. Energy drills, probably powered drill. That would make sense. A reactor, biomass two, mineral two, mana two, a lava forge. Ooh, that sounds fun. So there are liquids because there's pumps and such, and pipes. Increases researching speed, mining efficiency, fluid efficiency, mining speed, and monster life expectancy. None of these are inventory, sadly. It is only the... this thing. The mainframe.
<laughs> exactly. Gotta pump those numbers up. Crank them. Alright, I'm seeing what happens when we finish this research. That's why I'm just standing around like an idiot. Yeah, this is fun. I think this game has a lot of promise. I don't know if it's immediately making me want to, like, beat it. But it is cool. I wonder if we can find a, uh, whatchamacallit over here, an artifact. No. No, we cannot. We are in the other chunk, though. Is that what those are? Let's go down there and see what see what that is. Wrong thing. Same as Minecraft, three blocks at a time. Gets you there. Put a ladder there. Mana conduit on the surface. Interesting. Find a mana conduit on the surface. Connect the mana conduit to your factory. Research conduit tapping. Feed the mana conduit mana to upgrade it. Where is this? Oh, there. Enables infusing mana into a mana conduit to increase its power output. Interesting. I will say the tech tree feels weird. I'm um, having trouble putting my finger on exactly how to describe it. Wait, did I already... No, it's to the right. But yeah, something, it just kind of feels random almost, or like there's no order to it, or I don't know. It's, tech trees are weird, and they're hard to make them good. Um, and I'm not saying this one's bad, I just, it feels weird. And I know that's not a very good uh, explanation. Okay, what is going on over here? There's nothing here. Why was this a spot on the map? Huh. Maybe it's just a couple tiles that happen to be mined out already? I don't know. Hard to know for sure. Oh, and we found some more silver. Okay. Let's get out of here. And then... Now what? Oh wow, we're already 54 minutes in. Yeah, I mean, time flies when you're having fun. Okay, so we can do another research. Those require magical essence. Yeah, I guess it feels weird that you have to work on a second science pack so quick when it feels like you just started. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Um, what is that sound? No idea what that sound is. It sounds like something is eating something. It's coming from over here. 
Maybe it's the sound these are making? Hmm. They weren't making that noise before, though, I don't think. Oh, well. Well, sweet. This has been a cool first look, first impressions into the game. I would definitely recommend it. I mean, it's got it's got good reviews from people that have played a lot longer than this, and it seems to be pretty solid. Um, you know, and it, it's getting updates and stuff, and the dev seems pretty active, and so I, I do think this game has a lot of room to grow, and it'll just keep getting better. So I can, I can say I'd give it a recommend. Thumbs up. Um... We didn't even get to what I think would probably be some of the more interesting mechanics, which would be animal raising and such. Um, I can't say that I'm in love, now that I've played with it a little bit, the 2D piping items. Um, it, it just feels pretty difficult to automate things um, compared to other factory games in the early game. And it kind of is like, okay, so if I really wanted to do this, I just have to like clear out. I think maybe it's the digging. Having to clear all this out to add more levels, and then you're gonna have to add a lot more pipes full of items. I don't know. It, it's hard to think about how it could be better because you can't have, I guess you could try something like Factorio where you have two items on one pipe and it's like lanes on the belt. Um, that could be a thing that could help. Um, trying to think. The splitters being able to directly push into a chest would be nice. Being able to pull from a chest would be nice with the pipes. Someone said they thought that was the porter could do that. Um, yeah, pretty sweet though. I'm excited to see where this game goes. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, let me know what you guys think down in the comments about Autoforge. And yeah, thanks for watching.